Once you see Dr. Dre's mega estate in Brentwood, Los Angeles, you may have trouble believing the Compton house he spent his childhood in. To say he's come a long way is an understatement. Not only did Dr. Dre purchase his main mansion for $40 million some years ago, he's also done a major renovation to it, adding on an underground recording studio and more, increasing the property value even further. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Dr. Dre's mega mansion in Brentwood, which he purchased from another famous couple, his Calabasas house, and more. Andre Romel Young, who we better know as Dr. Dre, is a rapper, songwriter, record producer, entrepreneur, actor, and more. He's the founder and CEO of Aftermath Entertainment and Beats Electronics, and has quite a few successful business endeavors over the years. Dr. Dre found fame with the influential gangster rap group NWA back in the late 80s, and had a successful solo rap career in the early 90s too. Besides his own music career, he's credited with producing and overseeing the careers of some of the biggest artists, like Eminem, 50 Cent, Snoop Snoop Dogg, and many more. He's won many well-deserved awards over the years too, including six Grammys, one being Producer of the Year, and Rolling Stone has included him on their list of 100 Greatest Artists of All Time. At the time of this recording, Dr. Dre is 55 years old and has been married to his wife Nicole Young since 1996, with whom he has six kids. They live happily in a mansion in Los Angeles, which is a far cry from his childhood home. If you remember, the small house was even shown in the film Straight Outta Compton, which is where it actually is. Considering Dr. Dre was named the second richest figure in hip hop as of 2018, he has nothing to worry about in terms of money. His current estimated net worth is at about $800 million. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dr. Dre's impressive real estate, including his main mansion, the house he bought in Calabasas, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Drake and Tyler. Perry and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love getting to know you guys. I also read all your comments and I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> First, we'll take a look at Dr. Dre's main estate, which is pretty crazy. Like I said, he bought this place off a famous couple who we actually did a house tour video on recently. None other than Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen. That couple seems to have a thing for flipping houses and the work they did for this place was no different. They got this mansion custom built from the ground up and designed by architect Richard Landry, paying 11 million for just the land alone back in 2008. It cost an estimated 20 million to construct, so it's no surprise that Dr. Dre paid 40 million for the place. In fact, he was able to knock the asking price down from 50 mil, so technically it's a steal. Dr. Dre's main estate spans four acres of land in the Brentwood area of Los Angeles. Brentwood is a quiet, posh neighborhood on the west side of LA, full of tree-lined streets and mega mansions. Some of his neighbors include the likes of Heidi Klum and Seal and Arnold Schwarzenegger. There's a main strip with nice restaurants, cafes, and a family-friendly shopping area. The mansion was built to resemble a French country chateau with features like cobblestone pathways outside and architecture to give it a bit of a European vibe. It's a limestone clad home with reclaimed beam ceilings, salvage tile, and antique doors. Dr. Dre's mansion spanned over 18,000 square feet of living space at the time of purchase, and that doesn't include his recent add-on. There were eight beds and nine baths, and now probably even more. There are two full wings in this mansion, which gives you an idea of how big it is. Upon walking in, there's a double height entryway with stunning marble flooring and a giant chandelier, and the marble theme continues through to the spacious chef's kitchen. His mega mansion has a center hall, great room, dining room, family room, and seven fireplaces. Not to mention the whole house has super high ceilings and a lot of natural light coming in. Some other features inside Dr. Dre's mansion include a wine cellar, library, media room, fully equipped gym, sauna, covered terraces, and six car garage. Each room is decorated to perfection and has lots of intricate details and furnishings. Dr. Dre's master suite came complete with a custom chandelier, huge walk-in, master bath, and walkout balcony. And the fancy features keep going once you walk outside. On the grounds, there's a koi pond, waterfall, and even a moat complete with a bridge, which makes Dr. Dre's home feel something like a castle. Out back, you'll find the massive infinity pool and spa with full pool deck and cabana, which is a staple of any mega mansion. Despite how humongous Dr. Dre's mansion is, when previous owners Tom and Giselle built the place, they 
they wanted it eco-friendly. Their grounds are irrigated by a grey water system and electricity is supplied via solar panel. The home also has environmentally friendly heating and cooling systems. In 2017, Dr. Dre gave a tour of his home on the HBO documentary The Defiant Ones, and it was clear the mansion was undergoing a huge renovation. My wife, we should call this place Folsom. This is it. This is the last place we're ever gonna live, so we're trying to make it perfect. Like you said, it's the last place him and his family plan on living, so that's why they're doing it big. Dr. Dre was redoing pretty much the entire home and adding a 10,000 square foot recording studio and music facility underneath the mansion. This would mean that after add-ons, his place would be closer to 30,000 square feet of living space. These days, Dr. Dre's mega mansion in LA would be worth well over 40 mil because of his new additions and renovations, but I doubt it'll be on the market anytime soon. Although Dr. Dre has that huge estate in Brentwood that didn't stop the man from acquiring yet another property in Los Angeles. In 2018, it was reported he dropped just under 5 million on a mansion in a gated community of Calabasas, LA, close to where some of the Kardashians and other celebs live. The Mediterranean-inspired mansion was built in 1997 and renovated plenty since. It spans 9,378 square feet of living space with six beds and five baths. I guess with all that room, some of his kids could go live in this house too if they wanted. Walking into the house, you're greeted with a double height entryway and beautiful winding staircase. The formal dining room is directly attached to the front hall and offer views to the yard. There are common living spaces like a large kitchen with another eat-in area, multiple family and living rooms, and lower level den with fireplace and full bar. His master suite here is massive with a fireplace TV and large attached ensuite bathroom and walk-in. Dr. Dre can also have a balance of work and pleasure at this home considering it too came equipped with a recording studio and an additional office. Other features of the Calabasas mansion include a games room, home gym, movie theater, and much more. The grounds of this property span three quarters of an acre and have lush gardens and a huge lawn area. Of course, there's a swimming pool and spa as well as a fire pit, built-in barbecue and outdoor dining, which is great for entertaining. Not to mention, Dre has a private tennis court too. I'm not quite sure what he's done with this mansion as him and his family live in the Brentwood home full time, but he can certainly afford some nice real estate investments either way. In 2019, just last year, Dr. Dre also sold one of his longtime properties for around 4.5 million, although he was asking over 5 mil for it. He maintained this house for a while and bought it more than 20 years ago for about 2.4 million, so he still made a buck off the sale. Dr. Dre's previous home was located in a quiet, guard-gated enclave in the hills above LA's Woodland Hills area. Gated estate sat on a bit more than half an acre of land, and the mansion itself spans 16,200 square feet of living space spread over three floors. The mansion had eight bedrooms, which all had en suites, 13 bathrooms in total, and two powder rooms. Not to mention there's an elevator to get you around. There's an impressive winding staircase when you first walk in the home, super high ceilings and fancy marble flooring. The foyer actually looks more like the size of a shopping mall. Of course, there were plenty of formal living and dining rooms as well as a wood paneled office and Eden family kitchen with another separate chef's kitchen. The family games room in Dr. Dre's previous home had a 150 gallon fish tank that spanned the entire wall. The master suite in this home had dual bathrooms plus a hair and makeup salon or dressing room as well as a sauna, fireplace and sitting area. Dr. Dre added a lot of these amenities throughout the years and the home was full of customized luxury. Other features included a 250 bottle wine cellar, home gym, a bar studio, movie theater, and a guest house with a kitchenette and more. His previous home also featured an indoor outdoor floor plan with an indoor hot to behind glass doors to showcase the views of the valley. Out back there was an Olympic length saltwater swimming pool, patios for lounging and entertaining, and a fire pit. Apparently Dr. Dre's Woodland Hills Mansion didn't stay on the market for long, but with all those features I can see why. Under five million actually seems like quite the steal for the place. Alright guys, that's all I could find out where Dr. Dre is calling home these days. Now that we've seen his mega mansions looking mostly at his main family home in Brentwood, Los Angeles, what did you guys think? Aside from the mansion that's now probably worth 40 million and his Calabasas house he purchased for about 5 million, Dr. Dre is also said to own more. It's reported he has a three bedroom ocean view villa in a gated Pacific Palisades community he bought most recently for 2.25 million. Which one of Dr. Dre houses was your fave. I personally love his main mansion. Even looking at it when Tom Brady and his wife Giselle got it built, I thought it was gorgeous. I can only imagine that after Dr. Dre's mega renovation in 2017, the place looks even more impressive, which I didn't think was possible. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!